Hi, this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to um, do a video on the Asheen 011. Uh, this is a um, very it's different than the Asheen 010 in that the motors are bigger. They're 7 millimeter diameter instead of 6 millimeter diameter. Therefore it has a lot more thrust with a little bit more weight. The other thing that's kind of unique on this, I think they make it for FPV flying, is they put a um, little Lego figure on there. Um, it weighs um, about five and a half grams, where if you get a little bitty camera like this, the camera will weigh 3.4 grams. Uh, so it should fly better than what this does with the Lego man on it. Let's uh, take it up and a little spin so you see how it flies before I do the conversion. Seems to handle that weight good, so it should handle the camera real good. Yeah, it flies quite well. Try a funnel. Even has power to go up on the funnel. Okay. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll put it in a higher rate. I clicked it twice on the left joystick. So now it'll have a little bit more lean. I want it to. Probably fight the wind outside fairly good for being a whoop. Ducted fan quadcopter. Let's see. Yeah. Does the funnel. Uh, the first step is to take the canopy off. Um, canopy has two little tabs. And you just um, pull those off like that, and this is, exposes the, uh, the board. Uh, the little antenna there is for the radio uh, receiver, uh, which picks up the signal from the radio remote. Um, and what we want to do with the camera is I want to mount it in the front here, I'll probably um, hot glue it in place. Uh, a lot of people put the camera up on top but it just gets knocked into quite a bit. The antenna gets flipped. Um, so I saw a couple builds where they uh, just put them right between the two ducts and that way um, it keeps it a lower profile and less likely to get hit. Uh, the other thing that you need to do is just uh, there's the plug for the battery comes through right there and there's two terminals you could uh, solder on the back to provide power for the all-in-one camera. So it's just a matter of uh, hot gluing the camera in place and uh, attaching the two wires. I'll plug in my soldering iron and do that now. I cut a little piece of foam out and stuck that in the triangle. Unfortunately the camera wouldn't push that back because it would start to deflect the um, uh, hoops there, but um, I think this is going to work. I put a little bit of a camera angle on it, probably not quite as much as I wanted, but uh, I'll take the two leads here and solder them on. Let's see. Might, they do make um, camera holders that'll go up on top, but I was trying to get a low profile. So if I could avoid if the foam works, I think it'll be a better build. I uh, solder the uh, positive line wire on the right. And the negative are on the left, positive on the left. And the uh, 
negative black wire on the right. Seems to be soldered on. Next thing to do would be to plug a battery in. Camera seems to be pretty secure. I think I will put the. Well, I really like this uh, conversion into FPV for the E011 into a tiny whoop. Uh, it's a little heavier, uh, weighing uh, 25 grams versus the 18 to 20 grams on some of the uh, 6 millimeter motor whoops, but the 7 millimeter motor really makes this thing um, fly and have power, and it's uh, a lot of fun to fly. So I really like the uh, 7 millimeter motors on this whoop. Cost to build this whoop is also very inexpensive. It was, I think, $16 for the whoop and another $16 for the camera, so a total of $32, which makes it one of my cheaper whoops that I have. Here I'm running up some stairs. It handles that really great. It just flies right up them, plenty of power. And I'm uh, checking out the upstairs um, bedrooms right now. The increased power from the 7 millimeter size motors, I think this would even fly outside in a mild wind, say uh, 5 miles an hour, maybe even up to 10, uh, but I think it would be a good uh, playground flyer. As you can see from this uh, video, it was easy to build. It only took about uh, five minutes to put the uh, camera on. And as a result, it's one of the funnest uh, quads uh, with a camera FPV that I have to fly around the house. I have purchased the quadcopter and camera from Banggood, and I will leave the links below. Please feel free to leave any uh, questions or comments also. Thanks for watching. This is John from Chicago.